Hello everyone, in this scenario I wanted to explain how the CPS snooping attack is and how to mitigate this type of attack. The CPS snooping attack is a kind of attack that uh, in this attack attacker provide a DHCP server to the network and provide the clients with fake IP address which the change the DNS server and the default gateway and so dangerous because uh, this uh, kind of attack makes the attacker to be a man in the middle attack and uh, try to respond to customers and clients uh, requests and maybe uh, sniffing the packets to the network or redirecting the packets from the client's network to the other networks that might be the target. This is a type of attack that as you can see in this picture, attacker provide this type of uh, attack with a, a, a fake DHCP server in this uh, case the DHCP server which is uh, uh, connected to the switch to the access switch which all of the clients are connected um, but provided clients with DHCP IP address and uh, the uh, fake DSCP server handle the network yes, on the other side the DSCP server which is uh, the real DSCP server cannot work properly how do we can mitigate this kind of attack the one solution which is really simple and uh, can be configured so easily on uh, Cisco network suites is a DSCP snooping command DHCP snooping is a solution for DHCP starvation attack and DHCP spoofing attack also so uh, we have to enable DHCP snooping globally first and then add the trusted uh, network to the IP address of the uh, these clients and uh, then we can maybe add the port security to the switch uh, we are going to establish a network, set up a network a scenario in Packet Tracer and try to uh, find out how we can uh, mitigate this type of attack and enable our clients and our network to be safe from this type of attack. So firstly, in this scenario which is implemented in Packet Tracer we are going to configure our DHCP server. This is our DHCP server in, in the network. So the first step would be uh, configure the, our DHCP server with a static IP address. In our network, this IP address would be 10.0.0.1. The subnet mask would be 255.255.255.255 and 255.0. The default gateway for example would be 10.0.0.254 and the DNS server in this network would be 10.0.0.2 this is the configuration of the IP address of the, the DHCP server so let's keep, in, keep going on with the configuration of the DHCP server first of all we have to turn on the DHCP service uh, the pool name in this scenario is a default pool name which is server pool and the default gateway would be 10.0.0.254 DNS server is 10.0.0 for example 2 the IP address is starting from 10.10 10, uh, sorry 10.0.0.10 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 so we save the IP address our DHCP server is enabled to provide the clients with the uh, DHCP request which is starting from 10.0.0.10 and uh, let's connect our DHCP server to the network This is connected to the fast Ethernet 01 to the switch. Then we connect our clients to the switch 
in this scenario we have two PCs and two laptops so what we should we do is we are going to uh, enable our clients to get IP address from the DHCP server here our clients are in a static mode so we are changing to the HCP mode to request the IP address to the server but there may be a mistake here so check it again the starting IP address would be start from 10.0.0.10 Then check it again. So as you can see, the IP address changed to 10.0.0.10. All of the other clients should be get IP address 10.0.0.11, 10.0.0.12. This should be 12, and also this should be. 13 so until now everything works well but the problem happened when the attacker at a DHCP server to the uh, network which is make some problem for us so let me add a DHCP server fake DHCP server to this scenario this is the DHCP server from the attacker. First of all, we need to configure this DHCP server. We change it the router to DHCP server and uh, IP DHCP pool. For example, we need a name test network in this scenario would be 10 zero. Um, for example, this is from an attacker site, so it should be different. 192.168.0.0 with a network mask of 255, 255, 255, and 0 and default router would be 192.168.0.1 which is this network, this router and the DNS server would be for example 47.68.4.0.0.0 this is another DNS server from the attacker site and we are going to configure the interface of this router which is works as a DHC server in this network the IP address would be 192.168.0.1 with a network mask of 255.255.255.0 no shot and connect this and DHC server, this fake DHC server to the switch to the port of 010. We are waiting to everything establish well. Maybe take a little time because the port security port uh, fast port is not configured in this scenario. So we are waiting until the connection status will be up like that. So these are in this scenario, these are two DHCP server. This is the first DHCP server which is trusted and authorized DHCP server, and this is unauthorized DHCP server in this network. 
What will happen is depends on the behavior of clients. So let's take a look at the client's behavior. In this case, if we change the IP address of this client, it should be get another IP address. As you can see, there is a DNS server which is so different. This is a DNS server from the attacker side. This is a DHCP uh, default gateway provided by the uh, fake DHC server. This is not authorized default gateway and this is another unauthorized DHCP IP. Other clients uh, behave in different way like that. You see, and this DHCP server works very well for the attacker. All of the clients in this network get the IP address from an authorized DHCP server. And this is bad, very bad, and pro provide the clients with very dangerous activity. So as I mentioned in my slides, we have to configure the DHCP snooping on our switch. This is the best and the very simple solution to uh, mitigate in the in type of attack. So firstly, we need to open our switch, go to configuration mode, and enable IP DHCP snooping globally. This would be enable DHCP in uh, VLAN 1 because we haven't any VLAN here. If there are so many VLANs, we can configure the DHCP snooping on all of them or on the specific VLANs. So the first step is to IP DHCP snooping. Then we are going to interface fast 01, I think. Sorry, as you can see, the, the, the trusted DHCP server connected via fast Ethernet 01. So we have to configure the DHCP snooping on the fast Ethernet 01 IP DHCP snooping trusted and we show DHCP snooping We see the DHCP snooping enabled on fast Ethernet 01, which is our trusted and authorized DHCP server in this network. So we are going to check the behavior of the clients in this case. So in this case, we are going to check the IP address of the clients. As you can see, the clients get the IP address and request the IP address from the trusted DHCP server, which is our goal in this scenario. Ten zero zero fifteen with the authorized and trusted default gateway and DNS server. That would be great and fine. That's fine, everything goes well. Yeah, everything connects truly. Let's add another client to this scenario and check the behavior of this new client. This client should be request the IP address from the trusted DHCP server which is connected uh, to the fast Ethernet 01 and uh, this fake DHCP server 
doesn't work and must not work in this network because the our trusted network for the DHCP in this client in this scenario configured in our switch as a fast Ethernet 01. Yeah, everything goes well. So this is the solution for this um, type of attack configuring DHCP snooping on our switch to bypass every DHCP server uh, which, are, uh, which is not authorized in the network maybe some other solutions uh, help us to this uh, kind of attack to mitigate to this type of attack but this is the best and simple solution uh, that's it have a good time